Now this part then, we're given y equals 5x to the 4 minus 3 plus, and then we've got this fraction from the first part. And we're asked to differentiate this to find dy by dx. Well, before we can start, it's this term that needs to be changed. And from the very first part of the question, we know that we could change that to plus 2x to the power 3 over 2 minus just simply x. So we're in a position now to differentiate with respect to x. So therefore dy by dx equals, now in the usual way for terms like this, ax to the power n if you like, we multiply the power then by the number in the front so we get 4 fives are 20 and then we subtract 1 from the power so it's x to the power 3. When you differentiate constants they disappear, they end up being 0 so I won't bother writing that down. Again with this one multiply the power with the 2 at the front so 2 times 1 and a half is 3 so we got 3. Reduce the power by 1 so that's x to the power a half. This is minus 1x and if you differentiate minus 1x you're just going to be left with minus 1. Okay, so that is essentially it. We've simplified each of the terms. You might want to go on possibly and write x to the power half as the square root of x. There's nothing to stop you writing this as 20x cubed plus 3 multiplied by square root of x minus 1. But essentially, they're quite happy to accept this answer. Alright, well that brings us then to the end of this question.